Well, hello everyone. Back with another project. This is a Bobcat 371. And the customer complaint is electrical issues. He said my brother worked on it. So this is, as you can see, a small machine. Normally it would have come with like a Kohler engine. They swapped this Vanguard V-Twin. And the main issue is lack of a key switch. And this is what it looks like now. A whole lot of random wires. And the guy added on a little fuel pump and a regulator. The guy, last guy to work on it, broke off these four bolts that were welded on that hold the back guard. He wants the key to go up here. There's the choke. Throttles up here. So let's get started tracing these wires. Alright, so I did a little bit of digging, and here's what we're looking at. I got the battery out. Positive to the relay. This wire is just battery positive, going to the key. This wire is the trigger wire for the solenoid. You got two wires coming from the alternator into the voltage regulator. And then this wire is DC positive from the voltage regulator, this red one. This wire is uh, coil ground. This wire is just a ground from the voltage regulator, or rectifier, sorry. Which will I'll just bring up to here, which is the battery ground. And this wire... Where did this wire come from? I don't know where this wire came from. And then this is the oil pressure sender, which I'm going to have a wire coming from this. I think I got all the wires sorted out. Got battery. A battery positive. Uh, ignition, so starter. This is the ignition coil, so that needs to be grounded. Grounded the voltage rectifier. And then I also took the DC positive from the alternator, or from the rectifier, and went to the 
um, starter, but I think I messed up this um, relay. All right, so here's the deal with the switches. Uh, this is the broken one, I think. This is the one that the guy tried to wire in, but this one gives power to ignition when the key is on. And you want it to give ground. So this key switch wouldn't work in this engine. This one grounds the ignition when the key's off. Right, so this one, there's nothing going to ignition when the key's off, but we want it to be grounded. Instead, this one goes power. Alright, so here's where I'm at. I got the mower key switch. I got... That relay was bad. I also got... So I got the new relay down there. And here's what works. Fuel pump. Lights work. And hooves. But these wires are too short, so... These wires are too short, so I'm gonna extend those. Or make new ones. Alright, I just have the key rigged in there for testing. test run was sort of successful. Now I need to mount the switch. There. But I need to get a hole. So I'm going to use the plasma cutter to do that. So it's the next day. Looks like the battery says it's fully charged, but you never know with that charger. Looking good. Press the button. Perfect. Plenty of cranking. Clean off this battery too. Just some battery cleaner. This stuff works pretty good. Now let's get these wires cleaned up a little. So here's what I found. Um, the kill wire that I have hooked up to this post, which looks like it'd be where the wire to the magneto comes out, is actually not the kill wire. So I have the key off right now. I check continuity from here to ground, and it's good, which means there is continuity between here to the switch, from the switch, ground to here, and back to the battery. So since that isn't the kill wire, that post right there is not the kill wire, I'm gonna have to pop off this cover, which I think I have enough room.
All right, I'm putting a new end on this with these nice crimp terminals where it crimps on the insulation and the wire. So this is like an OEM style crimp. That's a little bit easier. And that's good enough. So here's where I'm at with this skid steer. I've had this cover off twice, and this will be the third time. I got a new throttling cable, new throttle cable installed, and I did away with the Craftsman switch and just bought a new one. Only thing is, this one doesn't have accessory, so fuel pumps there. But this one has lights. And the lights actually work. At least they did work until the guy's butt connector there came apart. So right now I couldn't get so I couldn't get it to have spark. Then I was just like, what the heck? And cut this wire. And then it ran, but only on the front cylinder. And then it died when I took this wire, which was the one that came over here. It died when I touched this wire to ground, but it kept running the same when I touched this wire to ground, so I know I have a problem there. All right, I have the new kill wire and coil. So let's get this put on quickly. <laughs> It's 
it's all back together, so hopefully it works. Alright, so my dad got some hardware. These are grade 8 bolts, and these are lock nuts, so you can kind of see that they're not perfectly round. Here! Shake hands with danger! <laughs>
I think it's out of gas. Thing ain't got no gas in it. It's just draining straight out the side of the filler neck. That's terrible. This bobcat's all fixed. Now it's on to the next project. Guess I'll get rid of my garbage. I'm gonna give the extra parts back to the guy. The bobcat, I mean the uh, Alice Chalmers, is almost done. Just have to do the painting. Well, my dad's been doing most of the painting. We got a quart of paint that matches close with Alice Chalmers, but I put it back together and tested it today and all the gears work, so that's nice. So thank you to everyone for watching.